it is this alien creature that's got eight arms and two slashing tentacles. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at the biggest and strangest ocean mysteries that are still unexplained. We're in the Bermuda Triangle. Yes, you are presently in the Bermuda Triangle. Number 10, the Mary Celeste. In 1872, the merchant ship Mary Celeste was found adrift near the Azores Islands. It was in good condition with plenty of supplies and cargo, but the entire crew had disappeared. The sole lifeboat was gone, suggesting that the crew had abandoned ship on purpose. There are myriad theories, but modern investigators have doubted most of them. There was no reason for a mutiny and no evidence of an attack. Some now believe that faulty instruments on the ship led the crew to believe both that they were near dry land and that the ship could be sinking, neither of which may have been true. Since none of the crew ever turned up, we'll likely never know the full story. Number 9. The 1968 Submarines In the first half of 1968, four submarines mysteriously went missing. They were the Israeli submarine Dakar, the French sub Minerve, the Soviet sub K-129, and finally, in May, the USS Scorpion. The wreck is located some 2,370 meters underwater and 45 kilometers off the coast of Toulon. We now know the locations of all four submarines, with the Minerve discovered in 2019. It's deeply unlikely that the disappearances are connected, but four powerful submarines all vanishing in the space of six months is confounding. The Minerve vanished in 1968 with 52 sailors on board. It's still not known for sure why any of the submarines sank either. There was even a top secret CIA operation to recover the wreckage of K-129 without the USSR knowing, though the government claims that this was largely unsuccessful. I feel the peace. Can you imagine? I've been living my life waiting to know where my husband is, where the father of my children is. Number eight, the White Shark Cafe. We found that the sharks don't just live here at the coast, they travel vast distances across the Pacific. These fearsome predators usually live in coastal regions, which is how contact with humans has earned them their reputation for danger. We started thinking about how could we learn more about this mysterious place. But great white sharks regularly travel far away from the coasts to a so-called ocean void in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And for decades, scientists had no idea why. Every year they go out there. They stay there for two, three months, and then they come back. Research from 2018 suggests that the sharks are going there to regularly feed on small organisms, which you'd think would be the end of the story. However, there's another layer. It's really only the male sharks that actively dive for food in the cafe, and researchers still don't know why the females don't join in, nor do they know why the males only dive like this here. It's this crazy behavior that I've never seen anywhere else the white sharks go. Number seven, the Mariana Trench. Almost 36,000 feet below sea level in the heart of the Mariana Trench, you'll find Challenger Deep, the deepest known part of the ocean but we still have a lot to learn about Challenger Deep and the Mariana Trench. You'll often hear it said that we know more about outer space than we do about the deep ocean, because only 5% of the ocean has been explored. This isn't exactly true, and the statistic really means that only 5% of the ocean has been mapped in great detail, though in 2023 it was reported that this had risen to almost 25%. Still, the deep sea is treacherous and immensely difficult to study full of questions we don't even know to ask yet. Number six, the Milky Sea phenomenon. Witnessed by humans for years, it wasn't until 2005 that we caught tangible evidence of this phenomenon on camera. But Milky Seas happen all over the Earth, and scientists are still studying them in depth to try and understand exactly what they are. Essentially, seawater will sometimes start to glow vividly. And with the invention of satellites, we've finally been able to photograph the Milky Seas. It's believed that the glow is caused by bioluminescent bacteria dying near the surface. But there's still so much we don't know, like what exactly triggers a Milky Sea to occur, since so many bacteria need to die at the same time for it to happen. Number five, the giant squid. We've got something, you know, the size of a two to four story house in the deep ocean that we've never seen. That's crazy. Like the Milky Sea, it wasn't until very recently that we captured living giant squid on camera. 
We've known they existed for centuries because of sailors' stories and dead squid washing up on beaches, but they remained extremely elusive, with the first images of a living squid being taken in 2002. The giant squid, she reasoned, would be attracted by the light because it would mean food was nearby. It worked. They live at extreme depths and are very hard to find and observe even today. And we don't know definitely how big they can actually grow. The squid has been blamed for the myth of the kraken, too. Though there's no conclusive evidence that a giant squid specifically has attacked a human. This is the shot I love, where it just comes in and it goes up over the jellyfish and then spreads those arms wide and engulfs the camera system. But we still have shockingly little information about these giant ocean dwellers. Number four, the Yonaguni Monument. Sometimes nicknamed Japan's Atlantis, the Yonaguni Monument has been baffling people for years. It was discovered in 1987 and has captured public interest ever since because it looks like a man-made structure. Some credible researchers, notably the geologist Masaki Kimura, have said exactly that. However, other researchers have said that, though the monument looks strange, it's a wholly natural piece of geology created by natural erosion. They've also pointed out that if it is a city, it's exceptionally small, only 165 feet long. But its distinct appearance makes it popular with divers and people who wonder if it might be something more. Number three, the Baltic Sea Anomaly. This unusual object is popularly latched onto by people looking for evidence of aliens. It appears in a sonar image published in 2011 and has been widely noted to look a lot like the Millennium Falcon, or perhaps like Pac-Man, depending on the angle. It's one of the most famous examples of a USO, or unidentified submerged object. No scientists believe that the object is a crashed spacecraft, but what it really is hasn't yet been definitively proven. Popular theories from researchers are that it's a glacier deposit, meteorite, or volcanic rock. But it could also be a group of fish that looks particularly unusual on sonar. Number two, Bermeja. Is it possible for an entire island to disappear? According to some, yes. And that's what happened to this small island off the coast of Mexico. Bermeja was drawn on maps of the region dating as far back as the Spanish conquest. But in the 21st century, renewed efforts to map the area in detail drew a blank. It looked like Bermeja, an island taken to exist, had disappeared. This is most likely a well-known example of the phantom island phenomenon, where errors in early voyages create false islands on maps. But there are those who believe that Bermeja was a real island that could have disappeared if sea levels rose and submerged it, and that it's being covered up by the CIA. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number one, the Bermuda Triangle. For decades, people have wondered why so many ships and planes seem to go missing in the Bermuda Triangle, this region of the Atlantic Ocean between Florida, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. Driving that mystery, stories like the Lost Squadron, five U.S. Navy aircraft that vanished over the Triangle in 1945. Many of the vanishings, like those of Flight 19 and the USS Cyclops, have entered pop culture as modern mysteries. You want to call it a mystery? There are, seem to be spots around Bermuda where you get two, three, or four shipwrecks, one on top of the other. Researchers have pointed out that statistically, the Bermuda Triangle isn't more dangerous than other parts of the sea, and that many of the disappearances happened during storms. Stories of those early wrecks fueled the mythology that followed. However, it's true that lots of those wrecks haven't been found to this day including all of the planes in Flight 19 and the Cyclops, the latter of which remains the largest non-combat loss of life the U.S. Navy has ever seen. Let us know in the comments which mystery you hope gets solved first. Well, I mean, you know, this is the oldest fake news story in the world. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.